All right, so this one's gonna be a quick one. Basically, what I wanted to talk about was my desk, but specifically the finish I have on it. Um, I have an uplift standing desk. I got it around fall of 2021. Um, so I've had it for over a year now, uh, very similar to uh, the Keychron keyboard I just talked about. I ended up going with the uplift desk. I had my eye on a couple other standing desks. I was thinking of maybe just getting a frame, you know, going to Ikea or Home Depot and getting my own uh, tabletop to put on it and such because that's what people do. I also looked at the Jarvis standing desk from Foley even got it shipped to me and returned it. I, I didn't have anything against the, the Foley's Jarvis standing desk. I just ended up deciding that the bamboo finish I got from them wasn't for me and that I also was more interested in getting the uplift standing desk. Um, I'm, I've am i seen a lot of comparisons between the two desks online and that they're very much the same quality and that uh, there's they're both very competitive uh, with each other. But I ultimately ended up going with the ash gray laminate uh, finish uh, for the uplift standing desk. Um, and the reason it was such a tough choice is there was like no videos on YouTube, at least at the time, that showed off this finish well. Uplift had their own videos showing it. I didn't quite trust them to show it properly. I also wanted multiple angles of it. I really wanted to see what it was before I bought it. But I ended up biting the bullet and uh, buying it anyway um, because I was uh, really wanting a, a good new desk. Um, and I liked how it looked on the website, so I just hoped it looked uh, and functioned uh, as well in person. And ultimately, I'm really happy with my choice. Specifically, what I wanted to show was this finish on YouTube so that other people who may be looking to get the ash gray laminate finish from them can actually see it. Um, so here it is. Here it is during the day. This is kind of around golden hour, uh, but so it's very reflective. Um, and yeah, I, I really uh, ended up liking it. Once again, it's just a laminate finish. It's not real like wood or anything. Um, so uh, obviously that cuts down on the price a little bit. Uplift has these um, like crazy butcher block, um, butcher block real wood you can actually get going all the way up to like a thousand dollar tabletops, which is awesome. Um, I, I'm not quite there yet. Here it is at night. I really liked kind of this gray look um, because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a uh, it wasn't just black, it wasn't as boring as that. Um, and I was also looking at the bamboo finish, but I was like, eh, I don't know. Um, so I'm really glad that I ended up going with this. Um, and this is kind of just kind of a general desk setup video too at this point. Uh, basically, I also ended up going with the comfort keypad from them, uh, the commercial frame, so it has that additional cross beam at the bottom to support it. Did I need that? That's yeah, questionable. Basically, a big reason I went with that is, and getting a standing desk at all, is yes, you know, it's great to stand up and, um, you know, actually kind of, you know, switch back and forth throughout the work day. It's good to do. It's, it's a healthy thing to do. So you're not just sitting there the whole day. But also, I just liked, I just like the ability to just literally put my desk now at any height that I want. Um, and what part of the reason I went with the commercial frame is that it not only did it go just a little bit higher than the regular frame, it also went goes a little bit lower than the regular frame. And what that allows me to do is put the desk like way lower uh, than, you know, you would nor normally find a desk that isn't a standing desk. Um, and now I can actually put my hands at a comfortable typing height uh, because I feel like that's something that we or it's something that isn't really thought about as much anymore. Yes, you can still find desks with keyboard trays, but um, you know you don't find them as much anymore. I also hate keyboard trays. Um, I just prefer my desk to be at the height that's comfortable for my hands. It's a pretty simple uh, thought. So I, I thought that was great um, to now be able to do that with this desk. I, I ended up paying around uh, $900 for this desk. Um, there's sales on their site all the time. 
Um, and a lot of you know sites claim to kind of call this the best qual the the best standing desk you can basically get in terms of its quality, how long it lasts. Um, I don't regret it at all so far. I uh, I really do like what I and uh, what I've gotten out of this, and I feel like it's really sturdy and it's going to last years. Part of the reason it was $900 is I also went with a 60 by 30 inch uh, tabletop or uh, for it um, uh, that fit in my monitor, my laptop next to it, and my two speakers so they could all be on the desk. Now I'm, I'm looking almost to expand my monitor setup. Um, so I'm almost kind of wishing that I went the 72 by 30 inch uh, 30 inches deep, of course, not uh, so 72 inches long. Um, I'm almost, I almost wish that I went with that one, um, but it's just, it would be so big. But uh, I will figure out how to fit these monitors all onto the desk with everything somehow. The desk also comes with some freebies for um, mounting certain things, power strips, uh, hiding your cables up uh, and mounting those on the desk in a hidden cable manager. I have also attached some aftermarket uh, little uh, drawers, I guess you could call them, um, or like little shelves, um, and, and those have been good for kind of decreasing the clutter on my desk. I just wanted to show off the ash gray laminate finish for the uplift standing desk so that if you are looking to get an uplift standing desk with an ash gray laminate finish, well now you can get a better idea of what it looks like. That's pretty much it for a quick video about my desk setup and I'll see you guys in the next one.